If you're trying to make add-ons for Blender, you need to know how to code with Python. But scripting is not a preferable and an enjoyable skill for most 3D artists. That's why Joshua Conover created Serpent, a Blender add-on for visual scripting. And in this video, we are going to talk about this add-on. So without further ado, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teaches you to create four high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. So, Serpent is a node based scripting add on for Blender. It allows you to create real, installable Python add ons without touching a single line of code. Whether you want to make a simple panel, with button you often use, create a pie menu to improve your workflow, or create something more complex to share online, Serpents lets you do this with notes. If you want to have a good entry point into Blender API and start learning Python, Serpents is also for you. It provides tools to include Python code and let you see the generated code to learn from. Serpents comes with free demo version and a rich documentation to help you check the add-on before you buy. Serpents is especially good at letting you build your own interfaces. You can create custom panels, menus, buy menus, etc. It allows you to access almost any data in your Blender file and lets you modify this data. It lets you run operators that already exist in Blender. By the way, operators are what runs when you press a button. It also lets you create your own operators. And with that it lets you import your own assets like node groups or objects, create custom icons, custom inputs and fields for numbers, text, drop downs and more. You can use custom scripts and even easy BPY to write code for your add-ons. You can then export your add-on as a zip file to share it with others. Anyone will be able to install your add-on and you could even distribute it on Gumroad or Blender Market. Now Serpent's add-on offers a node-based editor so that you can easily create add-ons without coding. Also it offers the ability to create complex interfaces like custom panels, menus, buy menus, etc. Also you can create interactive models and the add-on also gives you the ability to interact with new Blender geometry nodes and also you can add buttons or interact with the Blender UI. Also the add-on is always maintained with new updates that add a lot of new functionalities and bug fixes. Like the new 3.1.2 update that added new outputs that allowed the new interface nodes to be chained after another which may help in visibility in some node setups. Also you can now override the context of an operator. Before you could only choose the area the operator would run in. Now you can override every aspect of the context. If you want to work with outliner operators for example, this will be really useful. Also operators has been added to blend data browser. You can now find the list of all Blender operators in the Blend Data Browser. This includes the global search, meaning you can search in the different categories for the operators. And copying an operator from here does the same as copying an operator from a button. And also you can find added buttons to find the referencing nodes. This lets you find the nodes that reference a specific node or the other way around. Now you can also quickly jump from an operator to its button and from the button to its source operator. This is added for all nodes that reference other nodes. The update also added more functionalities to the add-on and more than 15 bug fixes. Now tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on. I just love to have these conversations with you guys. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.